Why do you tripping on me sometimes? She'd be like, are you really going to wear those? I'm like, I fucking paid for these motherfuckers. I'm wearing them. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I only pull them out so often. Yeah, you know, when like, I pull them out, give me some encouragement. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got them on. I yeah. put them on today. I got them out the box. I put them on today. All right, man. We off the air, man. We got a special guest in here right now. High Tone. What's up, Lowe's? What's up, Bam? What's up, dude? It's good to see you, man. I've seen, you know, you everywhere right now, bro, with the nose annex. Yeah. Big it's... up, man. How you feeling? See, we got mad history, dude. In Woo! this room, it's like, yeah, dude. Bro, I... you know, this is this is the two ten freeway ten. This is the six two six eight one eight. This is this is the the, the original. The original. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It feels good. To, I've we've been doing this so long, and we've all had our own direction and and goals and dreams. But like for it to take this long to get in the same room and just talk. It's just crazy how life is, bro. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, that's dope. how long journeys could take to get to a certain point. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And the different things that shoot realistically, man. Like, I mean, and you talk about it in this project, the things you personally went through man. to get to this point. Yeah. We all have battles. We all have pain. We all have things that we're ashamed of and, and mistakes we regret. And But that's all really what molds us, bro. Yeah. And I don't think a lot of people truly have the courage to really put it out there like that bro and i felt like the world really needed this i felt like there needed to be a voice for this type of pain right and i think that's why the world reacted to the project so this way because there's really nothing out there that you could really relate to in this this sense, you know? Yeah, yeah not not for how it is, song for song, like yeah, not full it, project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, if not full project, dog. Because I mean, all the tracks, like you kind of relate yourself to the, each song as an individual. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you kind of get each one, kind of get it. Like the enjoy it, and all the other tracks are just right. like. And I mean, if I'm correct me if I'm wrong, but are they all single title? Yeah. Names, right? Sp uh, purpose, selfish, yeah, fear. There you go. I mean, these are just words in yeah. general. When I was coming up with, when we started this, I was like, my sister gave me this keychain or this key. Like when I was going through my, my time, I, I felt like I couldn't breathe. I was having these weird attacks and the anxiety brought the depression on and that brought on the, the panic. And then, so she gave me this key that said faith or no, it said breathe. And every time I looked at that word, it meant so much to me. So I'm like, bro, like too many people name their albums or songs like all of these weird things like that. No, why don't I go back to the basics mm -hmm. and pick some words that when you instantly read it, it's going to hit you in some yeah, way. And you yeah. know what the song's about, too. Like, it's no secret. And then you yeah. can put yourself into that, have I been selfish? Mm -hmm. Do I know someone that's selfish? Yeah, you got mm -hmm. one. Where I forgot. It was some like... Selfish something is like, my shit. I love just, fear, I too. Or I, or I called my mom. Like, I, I got to figure out what track it is, dog. But oh, yeah. Purpose. Is it, yeah. Is it purpose? Uh, it's, uh, no, it's selfish. Um, you can't use your bank card when you take your last breath, so enjoy all them small things and things we forget. Like hugging your mama yeah, yeah. and sending a text, mama, I love you, I love you to death. Yeah. Like, uh -huh. those are all things that, it's a simple flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it hits the heart, bro. Yeah, dude, I'm, see, okay, so when you, when I hear this, I'm like, dude, your mom, like, at the moment, when she's hearing these records, it had to be like. She was in the video. Right. I'm talking to her. Mm -hmm, directly. At the dinner table, directly, mm -hmm. so. That's it's awesome. prioritizing and putting things into perspective and going, bro, and the rap and the money and yeah. the fame and the cameras and all of the social media mm -hmm. crap and all of that's gone. Who's there for you, mm -hmm. dog? It's your mom. It's, you, you know, or your family. Some people, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah, one or two. Yeah. Don't, some people don't have parents, but mm -hmm. in general, it's your family. It's And your close friends could be considered family. It's the people that truly want the best for you and truly want to see you uprise yeah yeah with with now 10 bodies of work man was there was there one or two or multiple times where you were like i right, it's a wrap let me let me stop you know like how, how do you continue to keep going you know what i mean hold up damn t 10 bodies of work dude in six that's, years bro that's dope wow yeah and they're all in my wall at my store because i look at those every day yeah. and i'm like most people can't hand me one they can't do it. <laughs> and i got 10 to give you or I've given you 10, you know? So, I mean, I guess I've been in and out of, of train of thought where it's like, I tattoo for money, let's be honest. So 
me having a hustle like that, that I could support my family and the things that I love doing really helped me continue to do music because mm -hmm. I loved it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you have, when you're not doing it for the, that dollar yeah. and when you're not doing it because you need to do it because or else you're not going to live. It's like I was being able to do it for the last decade because I truly enjoy it. I truly love music. I truly just wanted to give the world a voice for my culture and my lifestyle and me and something that when I am gone, people could look back and go, damn, that was tone. Mm -hmm. So, yes, there's been times where I'm like, maybe I'm not going to do it no more, bro. But there's something in me that just doesn't allow that to happen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It, okay. it don't matter how many businesses I open or what's going on in my life. It's like I'm not ever going to quit it. And my girl knows that. My family knows that. Like, I just won't be a happy person if I can't record. Okay. I think just in life, man, in general, you're supposed to do that, though, like what it is that you love. There's, like you said, it's that tattooing is making bread cool, but that's able to now have your passion become something that you can still do with a smile on your face. Yeah. <laughs> as opposed to having to say, man, I got to wrap this up because I just yeah. don't have time and I don't have resources to make it. And I think that's what just stops most artists just in general because you run out of resources. Yeah. It's a wrap. Yeah. But, you know. As as far as the tattoos concerned too, man, uh, this cat tone, man, high tone, I seen you go from, I mean, like drawn a little bit mm -hmm. to like this cat really taught himself like how to tattoo and like you're one of the top cats out here doing it. You know what I mean? Like was it was that one of those turn on like when I, I got to pick this up and this is gonna be my new my my new thing or like because that was crazy to me, dog. But I, I remember not, I T? remember though T when T disappeared for a minute. He <laughs> yeah. just disappeared like yeah. you didn't see him. He was just doing something. Yeah. And it was like oh but, oh so he was working on and the I started seeing thing. like shit go out. I'm like this nigga T did that like the <laughs> fuck like you seriously. Like, taught yourself that. that is, it's dope to me. I've always had the ability to kind of think ahead. I'm a, I'm a big thinker. I plan things out. I like to do things according to my brain. And there was a time where I was like, I was really young, and I was like, I know I'm not going to be able to do the music if I don't got the bread myself to invest in myself. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do that can allow me to do that? Well, when you work at AT&T, you can't hand someone a mixtape because it sucks to say the world judges you off of, man, you're really not truly an artist. Like, you should be doing that full time. Everybody got something to say, dog. Yeah, so I'm yeah. like, family is in the tattoo business. It's cool. It goes with my culture, my lifestyle, hand in hand with the music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If, I, if I stop doing music for two or three years and really learn this craft, what could it possibly do for me for the next 10 years? Yeah. And that's what I did. I sacrificed uh -huh. two or three years of doing something I loved to doing something that I know I can, that's going to benefit me in the future. Mm -hmm. And that's all I did, bro, is I, I, I became smart and I became this guy to go, let me think 10 steps ahead, bro, because if I don't do this now, it's going to be too late and I'm really going to give up. Then bro. you're behind, too. Yeah, yeah. sure, man. Nah, for sure. So in the next five, dude, what do you see yourself want? What do you want to do, T? Tell us, tell us what you want to do, bro, in the next five. like. <laughs> you know, this is one of them questions, bro, that most people are going to say they want to live in Hollywood Hills and drive a Maserati and have two kids and be married and have 300000 just floating in your savings account and life is perfect. But let's just be real. Like, in the next five years, I mean... I just want to be relevant. I want to have stayed true to myself. I want my businesses to expand. I want the people around me to be living a better life than they're living now. I mean, I have different dreams than most of these rappers, dog. Mm -hmm. Of course I have the big dreams. And of course we want no stress and money piled to the ceilings. And, you know, but let's be real, bro. In five years, if I can stay true to me, if I can be even a few more steps elevated than where I'm at now, my businesses are still around, and my family is good, bro. That's all I care about. So, I hear that, dude. And big up on the spot, man. You got to fly a little. Sp you been to the spot, man? No, I haven't been to the new spot yet, You got to go man. check it, man. I this boy done cleaned clean. it up real fresh, dude. <laughs> yeah. And the barbershop, Poppy's just opened. Oh, yeah. Yo, I'm scared. I heard y'all got the beard dog. barber. Dude, I got to go see her, oh, dog. Yeah, like, man. We got a yeah. beard specialist, Roxana. Um, I got... Becca, so I got two females, I got two males. 
I mean, it's very cultural. It's diverse. Yeah. You know, it's it's amazing, bro. The vibe is good. I wanted to put something in the city that people could work Monday through Friday and feel like, man, I can go and just hang out at a spot, not just sit in a chair and not talk to nobody. Yeah, the cool vibe's got to be right, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, you come there and relax, have a conversation. Yeah. You know? Have yeah, a beer if you want. Whatever yeah. you want to do, bro. But, like, kick your feet up and enjoy your haircut. You're spending 30 bucks on a cut. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy and you're going to leave yeah. looking good, feeling good. Yeah. Feeling poppy. Mm-hmm. Totally. <laughs> totally. I can't say that. See, I can't say that to somebody, dude. I don't know what it is, bro. Like, I love when the little Miha say poppy, but I can't say it, dude. It just, I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get to it, man. I, I like the spot, shit. I just gotta man up and be able to say that shit right. <laughs> yeah, bro, you're good, man. Los, you're poppy. Come on, <laughs> my dude. See, good looking. Hey, where you want them to grab the music at, dude? Where you want them to go, man? Let's leave all the bullshit aside. I could ask for the eight bucks to go buy it, but I want you to go to my SoundCloud, bro vibe with me for a couple minutes and if you respect what i do in the hustle then go on title yeah. itunes spotify whatever you get it go get it bro show some support yeah. but i'm oh, not yeah. gonna push you right now to just go buy something you ain't never heard before you know what i'm saying Hell like yeah. g- give you a little sample bro test me out put put soundcloud on drive to work listen to six seven eight records and if you like the hustle then go support that's what real that. people yeah, do they're gonna do it that that knows annex is clean man yeah. it's coming back from dina that night Popped it in, you know, solo in the whip, put one in the air. Yeah. He's like, this motherfucker. T- <laughs> yeah, right. I know. I was thinking the same. She's like, damn. I said, yeah, you not, dog. Like, that is the reaction. I said, this motherfucker T, man. Like, fucking crazy, dog. Like, yeah. long, 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 long way from the braids, dog. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and you know I had to cut them yeah, back off. Man, yeah. oh, had no. the braids, cut them. Yeah. Started the braids again, cut them. Crazy, dude. I mean, he, couldn't, he couldn't do that with the tats, though. He came. He had. He had the full body tats before it was yeah. cool. Yeah. All right. You know what I mean? Right. If I'm still here, but nah, that's what's up, dog. What's what's up? The always trendsetting man with music you, style, all of that, man. Thank Much respect, guys. dog. Yeah, Much high respect. tone. Good looking, bro. Yeah.